Hello there, this is uh, a follow-up video to my distribute and align objects in Max. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of a response to a comment that asked how to use this uh, path constraint on a deformed path, like a roller coaster. Alright, so let's uh, get started. Um, for a roller coaster, I would first use splines, like lines, and try to create the path first. Um, it's not going to be too perfect, but just try to get the point across. So lines and drag type Bezier. Uh, so I'll get started and try to create somewhat roller coaster path here. All right, uh, that's good enough. Go to perspective view. So we have that line. That's uh, what we're going to use for the path constraints too. And uh, I'll, I'll create the tracks here with small boxes. Of course, you could do better. Um, just tiny boxes for the tracks. All right, that's the first one. Convert to editable poly. Extend it, just a little gap in between. So it looks like a track. Attach this. Oh, why is that not working? So convert to editable poly attach that okay and we could go ahead do some more let's say 20 select all of them on deselect the line convert to edit double poly attach with the list select all the boxes attach all right so it's not one big object you apply the path what's it called path deform modifier in there and then pick a path and it's going to be that line and move to path change the axis see which one fits best uh, that's X but doesn't look too good alright so X and let's see rotation okay rotate about 90 degrees alright so and also percent to move it okay so now we, we have that figured out, we could always extend this by um, duplicating that shift and move. Okay. I'll just create a copy there real quick. And just move it. I should have made that longer, but oh well. Alright, so we kind of have that there. We could make another one. Alright, that, that looks okay. Uh, so we have that here. I'll go ahead and select all of them. Convert to edit double poly. That might not work. Yeah, okay, so you'll select individual objects and collapse to. It's just gonna collapse the edit double poly. It's not gonna just work doing it this way, converting to edit double poly. You need to just collapse it. All right, so now we have all that. I'll go ahead and attach this to both. All right, so now we have that. That's the roller coaster. It's not bound to any path anymore, but we still have that path right there because we are gonna need to create uh, add a cart, something like that. So I'll just create a box here, uh, cube actually. Whatever, it's fine. Create a cube. Uh, right, let's just make it fancy a bit. Let's inset, extrude. Down. This is not necessary at all. Uh, and extrude out. Right, so we have a tiny cart. I usually use object paint for placement. So go to object paint, select the objects first, and then paint selected objects. All right, so that's a nice placement on there. Okay, um, next thing we'll do is actually deal with the the cart here, and we'll add a constraint. Go to motions, assign controller position. And assign controller. It's going to be a path constraint. 
add path, it's going to be this line. All right, so it's right there. You have it, and move along the path. Okay, so it's it's moving, but it's not turning. All you have to do is is follow path, and it's upside down right now. So do not allow upside down, or do is it allow? Oh, axis x y. Oh, z axis allow allow upside down. Okay. Depending on your path, you might have to uncheck this or check this, but whatever works for you. But that's that's basically it. It's going to move along this path. You could use it for animation stuff. Let's see, auto key. Let's say it's at zero here or something. Or 10, maybe. And towards the end. Oh, it's even moving on its own, so. Oh, you don't even need animation. It's just moving. All right, so that's how to uh, constrain an object to a deformed path. Thanks for watching.